Okay, today I'm gonna be making homemade soup, also known as sancocho. So I'm gonna go into details what I'm gonna be putting in my soup. So this is tomato paste right here. This is crushed tomatoes. This is yuca. This is celery. This is carrots. This is chopped onions. This is cilantro. This is sachichong. This is potatoes. This is corn on the cob. These are angel hairs. This is sofrito, which one day I'm gonna do a video on that. And this is garlic. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so now this is the ingredients. Um, we got adobo, we got parsley, we got cumin, we got extra virgin olive oil, we got onion powder, and we got white pepper. Okay, this is the this is the dry ingredients here. Okay, and then. This is olive oil. I forgot to mention that you have to add at least one tablespoon of olive oil. So, there you go. And how can I explain this? This is kind of like a chicken broth. You add it to the water. You make your own chicken broth. So, that's that. You add it to the water of the soup and it will give it like a chicken flavor. Or whichever one you want to buy. You can buy either chicken or beef. Um, I got chicken here, so whatever you want to put on your soup. So let's get started with the soup. Okay, so I have this set up on my camera stand. So I'm going to turn on the fire. Um, like medium high. And I put everything in a pot first. Okay, I'm going to add the water. Maybe a little bit more. I make sure I cover it up all the way to the top. Well, the water anyway. <laughs> okay, and the tomato sauce is all the way in the bottom. So while it's boiling, it will distribute color. Okay. So when it's boiling, I'll come back for you can see how it looks like. And then we're gonna add the uh, angel hairs. We do that towards the end. You don't wanna add that now. Okay, so anyway, so we'll be right back, okay? I also wanted to say that I'm making this with white rice. So I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a piece of aluminum foil. I put the top on for like 20 minutes. But I also want to show you how the soup is going. You see? And it smells very good in my house. Um, yep. So I'll be back for when I show you how to put the noodles and blah 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 blah. Alright, bye. Okay, so now it's boiling. And it's been here for like 30 minutes. Um, and I tasted it because you want to taste it for you can adjust the seasoning flavor, if you feel like you need to add a little bit more adobo, or you need to add a little bit of something, you know, just do it. That way you could enjoy your soup. Now, back to this. This is what we're going to add. I'm sorry about the light, but I'm going to see if I can try to do something about that because I don't have a lot of light in my kitchen. Well, I need something that could be right in front of the food while I'm cooking it. So just bear with me. So this is what I'm going to put in the soup now. You want to do this at least 
like towards the ending of the soup and then let it cook for like maybe five to ten minutes you know for it to get soft enough the noodles but I wanted to show you this you see it sometimes it comes like in little balls you know like so you don't want to add too much of this I usually add two of these I crush it up which I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna add another one and then I sprinkle it okay let me do the other one so you can see it Okay, see, this is another one. They usually come like a little ball. All right, and then you want to crush it. Okay, hold on, give me a minute. And then you want to mix it. Okay. You don't want to add more than that, like too much noodles, because remember, you want to you wanna eat the, the soup and you want some broth to that, you know. I'm also making white rice, so you wanna maybe add a little bit of white rice in there, eat it together with the soup. You don't wanna add too much noodles. So, I mean, if you want to, that's your, you know, that's your soup, but I wouldn't. So, I'll come back when it's finished and plate it up, and I'll show you like more or less how it looks like, okay? So toodles. Okay, this wasn't part of the agenda, but I decided to do some tortilla chips, fried tortilla chips for the soup. My kids love it. Maybe you'll like it, so I'm just gonna do it as a bonus. So just watch what I'm doing, and then we'll take it from there. So I got like three. I make them into strips. If my kids come in and bother, I'm sorry. Okay, so as you can see, this is the way it looks. So I'm going to fry them up, and then after that, when it's nice and fried and crispy, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, so I'm so sorry that you can't really see what I'm doing as far as light. But I'm sure you'll get an idea. I mean, come on, anybody could do this. So, like I said, I'm going to try to work on this light thing because I can't. But anyway, um, let's start frying them just so you can get an idea, okay? So. And you don't want to bundle them all together because they will stick together. You want to do it one by one. Okay? And don't overcrowd them either. Okay. You should put it on medium high too because it cooks really fast. If you put it low, it's going to end up tasting kind of chewy. So if you put it high, at least it'll have like a, a crunch to it. But don't walk away from it either because then it's going to burn. Okay, I'm not even going to touch it to it gets, you know, do its thing. Because it will curl up to it if you keep messing with it. Look. Just wait until it cooks. Like I said, I'm sorry about the light. I'll try to work on that. If not, uh, oh well. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that's all messed up. So, I'm just trying my best. And I'm really doing this for my friends and my family that want to learn how to do these things. But they always ask me, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? Okay, it looks like it's getting done, you see? One way till you get a nice brownish color. I'll leave it there for a little while. And I'll pump up the heat a little bit too. Okay, okay now it's done. Take these out. Oops. 
And I got paper towels in the back, which I'll show you in a minute. Don't want to put them in a the plate without, you know, without a paper towel. You don't want no oily <laughs> tortillas. Okay, so I took it out. It's still a little oily and a little greasy. But as soon as you take it out, add the salt. Mix it around. I still got another batch going on. And then maybe you want to add an extra paper towel so it could, you know, take out more excess grease. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, sorry for the lighting again. I gotta keep reminding you because when I look at it, I get annoyed. So, okay, soup is done. Potatoes is nice and soft. Noodles, look at that. Okay, just want to mix it around so you could get a good idea. And this is why you don't want to add a lot of noodles because you want some of that broth, you understand? You won't add too much noodles, it's just... Okay. I got my tortilla chips. The rice is... Whoop, the rice is cooking. Um, this should be plated like maybe within another five minutes. And then I'll show you everything. I'm going to take a picture, put it on Facebook. And if y'all want to see the video, y'all want to learn this, you already know. Go to my channel. Like it, subscribe to it, no negative comments because you will be deleted, I don't play that, and that's that. Okay, this is the final result, we got some white rice, aguacate, tortilla chips, or you could maybe dip it in there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me put this aside, <laughs> and this is the soup, as you can see, got the works in it, nice and brothy. And brothy. Okay. And I'll take a picture of this. And I hope you like my recipe and subscribe.